Welcome back to it. Yes, it is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso Live here on S3. It's a Tuesday morning and we're choosing rocker. Work hard, play hard, get up and make it happen. These are the words that uh, today's featured artist lives by every single day. Honestly, Robin Ferguson, an award-winning rock guitar prodigy and an ambassador for South African women in rock is in the house. Ferguson's tenacious, you know, beyond measure, uh, you know, having created five EPs in only 20 four months, which is unheard of despite the COVID-19 pandemic and of course all of her personal health setbacks as well. Let's take a look at her song Ocean and then you will know why she's gotta be the girl whose name you remember. Come on, you want to take in all of the elements? Robin, good morning, Ocean Born. <laughs> my word. How are you doing? Good, thanks, and you? So, so good. It's so good to have you here. The energy at this time of the morning obviously is absolutely unusual, but certainly welcome on any day. Thank you. What a year you've had, 2021, 2020, from winning awards straight into sort of like being set back by all of the circumstances. How did you survive? Just a positive mindset, I think, going into it and knowing that I have a purpose on the planet and that's to make awesome art and music and I just want to run with that and nothing's going to stop that. So, yeah, I think just keep pushing forward. And what a time you've had, because one of the things I've heard you say is that you found that during the pandemic you sort of had to step back and zone into yourself and into your craft and find inspiration in that way. Was that a difficult process for you creatively? Absolutely, because you have to take a lot of self-reflection and the pandemic forced me to stick into one place and be isolated in my home and spend a lot of time with my own thoughts, my own uh, enemies, my own demons, so to speak, yeah. and to, to deal with that and to find a way to channel it into something that would be positive. Otherwise, it would just destroy me and I would feel super depressed and just not be around anymore here. Yeah? So to channel that all into something that would um, be positive for myself and an outlet for myself. Mm. It it was very difficult, but I found it to be quite uplifting. And like once you face your your challenges and your demons and you slay them, yeah. uh, then it's just good sailing after that. And, and it's you such an important anything. approach, right? Especially because today we're focusing on uh, mental health and looking at how we're able to sort of zone out of our challenges and yeah. find people that come our outlets uh, during difficult times. Did you have a structure like that? Who is the person or the sort of structure for you that you turn to during difficult times? I think a lot of it was my family and like my partner. Um, I think a lot of it also was just channeling it straight into my creative art. So just picking up my instrument the thing that I feel that's part of me and just putting it straight into all of that just every moment every thing uh, and then yeah just having great support of family and yeah do you sometimes ever feel like you know you've got lots of pressure having to represent an entire industry but specifically women in, in your sort of genre of music Absolutely. It's crazy. There's so much pressure. I mean, even right now today as we're sitting here, there's a lot of pressure. I can imagine. <laughs> but, you know, I just want to encourage everybody to just try to be themselves and to have a lot of fun and not take life too seriously because it's very short. The pandemic's at least proven that. So mm. if we can just have a good time and see that not everybody's out to get everybody else. And that if we all want to just push forward and be strong within our own selves and be positive within ourselves, we can actually really create something cool yeah. and grow together as a, as a community. Because yeah. we do do better when we show up for one another, right? Yeah, truly support each other. Yeah. Your talent, I mean, it's incredible. It's seen you go outside of South Africa, flying the flag over here, over there, everywhere. What does that feel like for you? It's a little insane. Um, 
my dream has always been to play on the stages of the world and it's not necessarily been physical all the time it's been a lot of online stuff and like this i suppose yeah but it's been absolutely wild to be able to travel africa and hopefully further you know it's going to be absolutely really cool and just to be in that space with other people creative minds and meeting new people and just seeing things like witnessing the world for what it is it's yeah Amazing. And yeah. connecting yeah, with connecting different with new parts people. of the world in an interesting way. Okay, the year is still young. There's a lot I'm sure that you've got <laughs> on, well, under your sleeves somewhere there, or up your sleeves rather. Uh, well, there we are. Well, a lot <laughs> indeed in more ways than one. What can we expect from Robin Ferguson in 2022? There's a lot happening mm -hmm. right now. If you check my socials just after the show, 9, nine o'clock, yeah. uh, there's going to be a cool announcement. Uh, yeah, with Kat and myself, we're doing something rad. There's going to be a secret performance at the end of the show. Okay, and then Queen. Something really cool happening on our socials. So, yeah, yes. a lot of rad stuff. Stuff, a lot of traveling, a lot of releases. You heard it here first on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Rad stuff. A lot of rad stuff from Robin Ferguson. She's here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show performing throughout the morning and you want to make sure that you are part of all that action. Right.